Siddhar Rua, past district governor of district 48995, Buenos Aires, Argentina, and regional director for South America of this Rotary Action Group. Today, I'm here to tell you about some of the projects that have been, been developed around the world to combat failure of poverty. Let's start sorry, with Mexico. There, in District 4110, the Rotary Club Juarez Sigo 21, together with the Autonomous University of Chihuahua, organized the Rival for University Students under the Southland theme, Health and Dignified Menstruation, with conference on the subject, a workshop on making reusable cloth sanitary towels, and delivery of a kit with feminine hygiene articles. Also in Ciudad Juarez, at the secondary school Tech 75, held a workshop for 200 adolescents, men and women, where awareness was raised about the impact of the environment, the term menstrual poverty, and solutions such as reusable towels and menstrual cups. In Argentina, several clubs joined forces to carry out a very interesting and moving experience of awareness raising impressions for women deprived of their liberty. There, they encountered humiliating situations resulting from the last the lack of access for menstrual hygiene products. The actions have been taken have tried to alleviate these conditions. Rotary Club Rojas, the class of our current district governor, Virginia here, who is with us today, and who has been involved in this issue since the first day, has carried out an important program of education <coughs> and approach to the health system for more than 300 women. In Africa, numerous actions have been carried out over the last year. In Nigeria, four clubs have joined forces to raise awareness and distribute reusable sanitary pads. In this picture, we can see the one carried out at the Tibet Institute in Awari, a city in the southeast of the country. It is remarkable to note the presence of male teachers and a mixed audience of boys and girls. Awareness <coughs> rising has no gender barriers. Here, right members have been involved in training seminars for young leaders. There is a strong commitment of Rotarians, women, and men. During the regular young people were training in the design and production of reusable pads. This is an excellent, friendly, and alternative product when it comes to young girls and in situations where the various cultural reasons, for various cultural reasons, other options such as menstrual cup are difficult to find. Actions have also been developed in alliance with other organizations such as Days for Girls in Ethiopia. A great number of projects have also been carried in India, working with the Rotary Act shown in this slide. <coughs> Dr. Minashkin is one of the most important medical leaders of this action group. Here at the Samsung Semiconductor Factory for Women Assembly Workers in Unsuru, Karnataka. Below we can see the action developed by the Chennai Rotary Club Palava in the city of Chennai, providing training to young students. Rotary Club Chennai Coratur also conducted educational activities on the benefits 
of various agenda. Rotary Club Bangalore West, with the support of the governor of Karnataka, a state in southwest India, organized a zero sanity waste event to raise awareness about the importance of contribution to the environment by reducing the generation of waste from menstrual hygiene products. In Germany, all Rotaract clubs join hands to carry out the federal social campaign menstruation to raise awareness, promote equal opportunities, and increase educational opportunity. The RAG organizes the first Latin American Forum on Menstruals, Health and Hygiene, focuses on development of projects to, eradic to eradicate period poverty. In Mexico, under the leadership of our regional director, Veronica Alzana, several information and training meetings were held with a large attendance of Rotarians and non-Rotarians. The RAG board organized regular meetings, <coughs> regular virtual meetings, with important guest speakers in order to, pro to broaden the perspective of the issue of period poverty. And, the gen and to generate participate alliance with other action groups and organizations. Now, the million dollar question. Why am I doing this presentation? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is very simple, because it is necessary. Yes. We all need to get involved in these issues. Many associate the drug with the feminine issue but it's not. It's a basic human right issue, affecting not only women, but everyone regardless of gender, age, race, or region. As mentioned before, we are talking about, about well health and well-being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, decent work and economic growth, responsible consumption and production. That is why it's necessary to involve everyone without distraction. As I started preparing my period as district governor in early 2020, thanks to my wife Ines, I learned about a group called Women Rotary that advocated for this issue and I was amazed by, by the enthusiasm and strength of these women and became aware of the concept of menstrual poverty. So I introduced this issue as a main theme in my assembly and then accompanied them on their arduous journey to gain recognition as a right. I am grateful to Ines for giving me the opportunity to discover the vital relevance of this issue that she is so passionate about. Rotary policies drives our organization ongoing cooperation with the United Nations. Our areas of focus are absolutely compatible with the Sustainable Development Goals on the 2030 Agenda. And while all of them are important, there are one that could be said to sum them all. The number 17, partnerships to achieve the goals. We can and should move forward in strategic alliance with other NGOs for the development of our project in order to meet the goals of Rotary Action Plan. Working to eliminate menstrual poverty means improving the lives of millions of girls and women around the world. And if their lives improve, so do all of ours. A happy period leads to a happy family, leads to a happier community. 
this is a very new rat, but what? But one with enormous potential and enthusiasm. In less than two years, it has demonstrated it. And to paraphrase the slogan of the year, imagine what's next. Thank you.